Hi, this is Martin. Just a quick demo on how to get some of the spacings correct between uh, images. Um, if it's only two, it's, a, it's kind of a little bit more tricky than if there was four or five. So I've just kind of placed one image on here, and I want to place another on here and then get all the spacings between them the same. So I'm going to drag the image up onto the screen uh, that I want to put down here. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've got this image, it looks correct, so I'm going to go to it, I'm going to go to copy. So I'm copying it and then select the image here and I'm going to paste the dimensions by going to pair special. So apply dimensions. So we know that these two are, are, are identical in size now. So I'm going to bring it, slide it across until we get the blue lines, which is the smart guides. So they're perfectly aligned now. And I know that the same size and I know that uh, I bled it right to the edge of the page. So kind of equally bottom, top and bottom on, on where the page is. Now I want to match this gap between these images to this uh, image here. So the the actual page is made up of a grid. So if I grab this little kind of um, pointer over here, it it shows me uh, the the page. So it's two four hundred and ten uh, deep, and then there's another one over here to do the page width, which is six hundred. So these are just really just to kind of guide me and help me, but. I, I want to work out the, dif the difference between this one here and this one here, which is actually eight. I'm going to call them pixels for want of a better word, so eight pixels. I can also double check them by selecting the images here, uh, going over to the um, X and Y and the options over here and saying, tell me what the bottom X coordinate is, oh, sorry, Y coordinate, which is this one, and then taking this one and changing where it takes the measurement to the top here. So it's 208 and this one was 201. So I'm just going to actually nudge that up one so that the, the gap is 200 and 208. So the, the, the gap between these two now is 8. So all I want to do then is apply the, the gap here of 8 to, to, to the one here and here. So if I take the measurement of the left hand side of this image, which is a 164, Minus 8, which is 156. So all I do then is put, uh, select this image here on the right hand side, select the box over here until we move this to 156. And that can actually can type it in. So I just type into the x coordinate 156.00, and I've got to hit with the return key. So it's moved it into place, so the uh, distance between these two images now is exactly the same as these two. If there was more images, and you might think that, that might be a little bit more tricky, but actually it's a lot more simple. So I've dragged an image in here, and I want to put four images down the right-hand side. So all I'm simply going to do is kind of roughly resize it to uh, about uh, the right size to give me four. And instead of kind of copying and pasting the dimensions, I'm just going to copy and paste, paste, paste. So that gives me my four images now. So there's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to deal with it being the same image in a second. I don't have to really worry about um, position or where it is on the screen um, or alignment. But what I am going to do is worry about where the edge of the image is in relation to the edge of the paper. Because when I'm going to adjust or get the spacings in between these images the same, what the software does do is it looks at the first one, looks at the last one, then divides and gives a, a, an average between the two. So what I'm going to do to get the spacing correct is select the first one, the second by holding down the shift key, hold down the shift key, or keep it held down, the third and the fourth, so they're all selected together. On the left hand side tool button over here, there's a um, button that says distribute the spacings, either horizontally or vertical. So I've done the vertical, so they're all now equally spaced. Then there's a button above that for alignment. So I'm going to align them on the horizontal centers. So they're all aligned there now. And I'm just going to move them around the screen until I put them into the position I want to. And then it's just a matter of replacing the actual images that we've got in there for the images that we really need. And it's as simple as that. Uh, thanks to Younger Photography for the use of the images to show you. And I uh, hope that makes sense. Goodbye.